One of the hardest stones to mine out of the earth is a diamond. But what if we can just make it out of thin air? Literally. A UK company named Sky Diamond hopes to revolutionize the traditional diamond mining industry by using carbon capture technology. The company calls it a zero impact diamond because the process pulls carbon dioxide right out of the air. Although a diamond traps only a modest amount of carbon, one carat contains just 200 milligrams. Pure carbon can take many forms. It really all depends on how the atoms are arranged. Graphite is arranged into multiple layers. Graphene in a single layer. And if it's rolled up, it forms carbon nanotubes. But when each carbon forms four strong bonds in a tetrahedral structure, it becomes a diamond. Most natural diamonds were formed over a billion years ago, more than 120 kilometers beneath the Earth's surface. This is where intense temperature and pressure cause carbon atoms to strongly bond together and arrange into crystal structures. Volcanic eruptions bring these crystals embedded in magma to the surface. When the magma cools, it hardens in long vertical shafts called kimberlite pipes. And these pipes are what's sought after in the mining industry. They're found in countries like Russia, Botswana, Canada, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. When a source of diamonds is found, there are three common ways they're mined, open pit, marine, and alluvial, which is the mining of stream bed deposits. And all three can have quite dramatic environmental consequences. Not to mention, it also takes a huge toll on the people in these mining communities. The term conflict diamond was first coined in reference to a series of wars that broke out in diamond-rich countries in Western and Central Africa during the 90s. The illicit trade in diamonds has funded wars and human rights abuses for decades, and conflict diamonds continue to leak out to this day. Now, synthetic diamonds offer an alternative to traditional mining practices. They are chemically identical to their earth mine counterparts, but instead of forming over the course of billions of years, labs can create them in just a few days. One of the common ways synthetic diamonds are made is through a process called chemical vapor deposition, also known as CVD. A thin layer is cut from a starter diamond to form what's called a seed. The seed is then polished to an exact thickness and placed inside a reactor with a carbon-containing gas. Microwaves generate intense heat in the reactor, forming an electrically charged plasma. Carbon atoms break away from the plasma, then deposit on the diamond seed, causing them to form a bigger crystal. Conditions have to be just right, or you'll end up with very expensive pencil lead instead of a sparkly diamond. Unfortunately, this process has some pretty intensive energy needs. It's even been argued that lab diamonds can produce three times as much greenhouse gas as mining naturally occurring diamonds. But some synthetic gem labs like Sky Diamond think they have a better approach. They use the same CBD process, but with 100% renewable energy made from wind and solar. Sky Diamond is taking the process one step further by using little more than air and rainwater to make diamonds. Their facility extracts carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, then liquefies and purifies it. Through electrolysis, rainwater is split into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen from the water and the carbon from the CO2 make methane. This methane becomes plasma in the reactor and ultimately provides the carbon atoms that stick to the seed, transforming it to a beautiful stone. This has been a years long journey and the company is finally planning to start production in 2021. While Sky Diamond is focused on jewelry, diamonds with ethical and environmental profiles may one day help clean up another place diamonds are used in industry. Diamonds are used in computer chip production, construction, and machinery manufacturing. Synthetics are especially popular because they're easy to produce, can be quality controlled, and be custom made for specific applications. In the US, 99% of industrial grade diamonds are synthetic, but most are made with brown energy from fossil fuels. But with companies like Sky Diamond putting the focus on renewable energy and carbon capture, perhaps this 21st century bling is a tiny step towards a brighter future where we work with the environment instead of against it. If you like this flashy episode on diamonds, check out how diamond anvil cells are helping us figure out what's inside Earth's core. If you have a science topic you want us to cover, let us know down in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Seeker and thanks so much for watching.